What's up, guys? I'm Shane, and welcome back to the Relegation League, where we are going to be playing in the Fiesta Bowl against South Carolina. They are a much better overall school than us, especially on the offensive side. But we have almost everyone back. We've got Shelton back. Fan is back. But Williams is listed as probable, so we might be getting a lot of Dan Williams today if he's not up to snuff. Either way, we should... I don't know if we're going to be able to handle them, actually. Let's try our best. It is weird. So it's a PlayStation Fiesta Bowl, like insignia there. It's the same thing I said before the game. But then everywhere it still says Tositos Fiesta Bowl. Also, this is a heavy blitz to bring on the first play of the game. I don't know if that's something they can change or not. I'm sure if it is something they could change, they would have. Welcome back, Shelton. Oh my goodness, welcome back. Yeah, Williams is back out here too. So anyone interested in seeing who the All-Americans are? Obviously, we know the award winners. Anything like that, even some of the stats. We'll be looking at that at the end of the episode. So if you're really interested in that, just make sure you stick around till the end. I just saw Stanford and San Jose State played in a bowl game. That's got to be weird to have a rivalry game in a bowl game. Nice snag by Williams. Steps out of bounds, though. We're moving pretty well against this defense so far. Matheson on the drag. It's still dangerous. Oh, <laughs> okay. We're not playing against Mac opponents, so we got to be careful. Okay, just Ignatovich standing alone. I'll take the free seven yards. Oh, William stopped running. If he had kept running, that back corner of the end zone was going to open up for him, but he stopped when I started, uh, when I stopped scrambling. I'm not sure why. But Williams got in for the touchdown anyways. Coach suggested nothing but blitzes here. They, I guess they're going to run the ball a lot then. That, was, that wasn't a run at all. It sputtered a lot. Coach, you don't start with an all-out blitz. I'm going to run a lot of zone today, I think. Nope. Oh, my God. All right, third and two. Now coach wanted to call, like, <laughs> you know, uh, man under and all that stuff. It's like, no, now we can use the blitz. He took off. He's faster than us. Ooh. No. All right, well, we've actually got a TFL on that guy. Cool. And it's Igbana in his final game. He would take off. Oh, that's a huge sack. Who's getting that one? I give that to Joseph. A uh, little spoiler alert for later, but he and Williams were our two first team all NCAA players. So, making another impact here. QB draw. There we go, wrapping him up. Fourth and 21. I don't know how, and they're out of field goal range now. All right, defense. I'll take it. No, Shelton, I know you're just coming back from injury, but you still got a slide, bud. Okay, I like that these triple options are actually staying nope. with Williams today. Oh, my God. He is not intimidated by South Carolina at all. Whew. Nope, that blitz coming means I don't... <laughs> yeah, that blitz incoming. No play actions here, please. Put that left Williams wide open over the top. I don't know how, but halfback dive picks up six. Oh, national championship, by the way, is between Oklahoma and North Carolina. So North Carolina, who got promoted, so they've only been the ACC for one season, and they didn't even win their conference. They were number one. Oklahoma's not number one. North, uh, yeah, North Carolina's number two. But, ooh, sputtering, it doesn't matter. Williams, that's, that's easy. But North Carolina, yeah, they were the number two team in the entire land without winning their conference. And Clemson beat them, and they finished with the same record. And because Clemson went down to, uh, who'd they lose to? I think Marshall or something like that. So I guess that dropped them enough. Yeah, it's a bowl game. We can still super sim defense. And they forced them to three and out. Well, that's all right. I don't mind a quick game. Ooh, nice blitz. Williams with the catch. Oh, it's 13 inches, that's fine. Oh, this is scary. Oh, never mind, that was actually a good run. I don't have it on conservative catch or carry today. We're we're uh, we're gonna risk it. 
because I can just pick up chunks like that. How are you not able to defend four verts? We're both teams getting promoted in the uh, Power 5 conferences next season. So South Carolina is on our level, and they're proving it here. And there we go. Williams Jr. in his final game, picking up a touchdown. That's a 21-0 lead we're going to have, and they're going to have less than 30 seconds to go in the half. Going into halftime of the Fiesta Bowl, and we're up 21-0 on South Carolina. <laughs> Defense gets to stop, but don't let them trick you. They had them on a third and 20, or er, second and 26, and they converted. I just have to ask, where was this energy against Purdue? We've basically gotten blowouts in, what is this now, three of our four games? No, four out of five now are becoming blowouts. And then we just couldn't get it done against Purdue. Oh, my God. Underthrow it. Williams. Oh, my God. He broke a tackle. Come on. Come on. Get the block. No. Okay. Well, that is still a massive 28-yarder on something that I just threw as a bailout pass. All right, Andre. All right. Pretty decent run. Bounce that all the way to the outside. Pick up the block. Shelton in for a rushing touchdown. Okay, that's one nice read option right there. And I don't know who it was who picked up that block downfield, but that was huge. They can show in the replay. They're just going to show the end of the, end of the run. Yeah, okay, that's not a helpful replay. All right, defense held him to a fourth and three. I thought for sure that was a fake. Now it's Williams fumbling it. If we manage to hold this score at least, that will be nine straight quarters without giving up a point. That's insane. And it's definitely time to start chewing clock. Oh, I thought R1 was gone. Great play by that safety. Williams Jr. again breaking a tackle on a catch. And I already switched over to conservative. Bounce it out, Williams. Good run. There's Williams with a nice catch. Putting a big 10 on notice with this one here. You want Akron? You're about to get Akron. And while it stinks that we're losing Andre Williams Jr., we're losing Qualls, we are losing some quality players. Uh, you've got a true freshman at quarterback. You've got a sophomore and a true freshman at halfback who are just getting it done. The offensive line is mostly freshmen. Like, this is just what we're going to run with. Even if it takes us all five years to win the Natty, which we got ridiculously close in year two here, but even if it does take us all all five years, we are about to roll over people in year five. And a second rushing touchdown for Shelton. Gibson played really, really well in relief these last few weeks without Shelton here. But you're seeing the difference. There's three minutes left. It's fourth and five, and they're punting it. They've given up. We haven't given up a touchdown since the second quarter against Kent State. Most of the defense is returning. We're, we're losing Arslanian. Our linebackers are going to be a lot worse. We're losing Arslanian and Michael Scott. Our left outside linebacker is pretty good. Middle linebacker will be okay. So we're definitely going to be playing a lot of nickel and dime. Because at least the two corners that we do have, they're both sophomores. Like, this team is surprisingly loaded considering it was Akron. That's why I might not even have to do much recruiting next year. Like, basically just go through, look for maybe a tight end, some linebackers, uh, and cornerbacks. That's it. Easy halfback dive here for Williams, taking it up to the 20. Of course I'm going for some garbage points here. I didn't forget it was a double header, but this isn't really the big enough bowl game for me to justify playing the full game. Oh, I had Agnenovich. I was trying to throw that on the run to him. And then Shelton goes down injured. It doesn't matter. It's the end of the season. Shelton has hurt Bursitis. He'll return soon. There's not much to return to, but okay, cool. Oh, I just wanted to throw it up for Agnenovich. Sure, here you go, Smeagol. 
And that'll do it. We close out the season with 10 straight scoreless quarters by the defense. We actually out <laughs> outscored them because we had a defensive touchdown in there. And that's it. The Akron Zips, the winner of the Fiesta Bowl. Not the national championship by any means. But we're basically one Hail Mary from Purdue away from being in contention, still being undefeated. But hey, what a great second step. Shelton takes home player of the game with four total touchdowns. Only three incompletions, and I think one of those was a throwaway. Did they update the trophy? I didn't think they could do that. They didn't do that, did they? That was always there, right? I've won the Fiesta Bowl before. Why do I not remember that? All right, final stats on the day. Shelton, 14-17, 173 yards, two touchdowns, no picks, no sacks. Gibson was 0-2. He tried. Rushing Shelton with 131 yards on the ground, two touchdowns. Williams finally back here, not winning the Heisman, unfortunately, but 8 for 55 and a touchdown. Dan Williams had 1 for 13. Receiving Anthony Williams, 4 for 72 and a touchdown. Andre Williams Jr., 4 for 66 and a touchdown in his final game. Aginovich, 2 for 16 in his final game. Matheson, not his last game, 2 for 12. Qualls, only 1 for 2 in his last game. Dan Williams, 1 for 5. Defense Bradford led the team with five tackles, including that TFL to wrap it up. Seven total TFLs for us, Bradford, with two of them. Joseph and Fan in his first game back getting a sack apiece. Watts with the only swatted pass. We didn't get any turnovers today and nothing really to report as far as returns. All right, before we wrap this one up, let's take a look at the All-Americans, the award winner to see if anyone was floating around and take a quick look at the final stats on the season. All right, so I was gonna flip through award finalists. There's no point. We didn't have any other finalists outside of what Williams won. But I just think it's funny, the two finalists for the O'Brien Award. In real life, both of these guys got benched. I guess the video game's where you gotta go to see these guys have success. Now, as far as All-Americans, so first team, again, just Spencer Radler, bud. Declare, just do it now. Your draft stock will never be higher. But Williams, first team, halfback, of course. Probably would have been a finalist, or at least maybe even won the Heisman had he not gotten injured. But yeah, like I said in the game, Frank Joseph, also first team, as a true freshman. Second team, I don't believe we had anyone. Nope. And then freshman, you know Joseph's going to be on here. And Dan Williams got it as kick returner. All right, he's not going to have that role anymore. All conference, Williams first team. Gray, our left tackle first team. Maybe he'll get some better training results this year. Joseph first team. Then we had Arslanian. We had Cochran Jr. We had Harris. Smeagol, somehow. And Williams is returner. Second team, we had Daniels and Ramsauer. I feel bad for Shelton, but he got hurt. I don't know if he would have made it, but him getting hurt definitely just meant he wasn't going to make it. Bryce Wilson making it, who I keep wanting to call Brian Wilson. Agbana in his final year making it second team. Now, usually I never bother with the season stats because we play on five-minute quarters. They're never impressive. Case in point here, two quarterbacks combined did not hit 3,000 yards. What is that, about 2,600 there? 23 touchdowns, but hey, look at those picks. I only threw seven interceptions this year. I'm going to pat myself on the back. I don't remember if I've ever thrown single-digit interceptions in a season before. Rushing Williams, he barely hit 1,000 yards. 25 touchdowns, though. Shelton had 491, eight touchdowns. Gibson had 235 and three. Williams had 134 and three. Receiving Williams with 47, 717 yards, five touchdowns. Ignatovich also had five touchdowns. 29 catches, though, and 379. Matheson, 24 for 361, three touchdowns. I feel like a lot of that was near the end. Same for Williams, 23 for 293, three touchdowns. Gerard Williams, actually really solid. 82 overall sophomore, not bad for a Juco. 20 catches, 315, two touchdowns. Dan Williams as a backup halfback, 16 for 169, two touchdowns. Ah, oh, poor Qualls never got in the end zone this year. I just realized Qualls and Williams are 87 overall. I knew they were good, but I thought they were like 82s. Okay. Watson Arslanian led the team. The fact that our cornerback led the team with tackles, 35. Joseph, 11 TFLs, 8 sacks, D-tackle, young Aaron Donald out here. Bradford had 9 TFLs, 3 sacks. Not as much of an impact as I thought, but Joseph was hogging all the spotlight. Lawson, he was the backup, had 3 sacks. Because Fan was out. Fan still had 3 TFLs, all 3 of his were sacks. Bryce Wilson with 3 sacks too. That You know what, though? That's not... That's not bad. I'm glad I invested in this D-line. We only had five interceptions on the entire season, though. Harris with two of them, McBano with two of them, Cochran with one. 
So uh, definitely need some secondary help here. Arslanian forced three fumbles. We had seven total with the team. And we scooped up all seven, apparently. Cool. Williams had 876 yards on kick returns. No touchdowns. His longest was 62, though. And only 313 on punt returns. It was a good experiment to get him some touches, but I think I definitely want to keep a speedster as a kick returner. It sounds obvious, but I just wanted to see if a power back could actually, like, break the game. He did not. Oh, I just noticed they updated the names on the, the records. Okay, so it was Charlie Fry with the record. Okay. Passing touchdown, 64. We might be able to do that. Williams only has one of the records, though. Uh, oh, he was like, yeah, 800 yards off. Okay, we're probably not getting that one then. Jason Taylor went to Akron. How did I forget that? I, I swear I had that committed to memory at one point. How did I forget? Hated that guy. Hated him. Because I'm a Bills fan, not because he did anything. I know, I just hated that guy terrorizing me for you know, like 15 years of my life or whatever it was. But that'll wrap this one up. Next episode, it'll be the off season. We'll go and see if we can get that that damn athlete in recruiting who's supposed to be wide receiver, but I'll take a six foot seven safety if I can get him. We'll move on up to the Big Ten. We'll take a look at who else is getting moved around. And I'll see you guys there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. Any thoughts, suggestions, whatever you may have, leave it all down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.